Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at the MPU9250 module from Hi Let Go. This is another one where it's an item that I ordered from Amazon and they asked if I'd do a review for them. So I got a pack of two from Amazon on Prime, so next day delivery in the UK. And in the packet, we've got the little board and pin headers. So here's the module. In the middle is the MP92 IC. It doesn't have a manufacturer marking on it. At the top we have a voltage regulator. This is a 3.3 volt regulator. If you're building a 3.3 volt system, you can link across here the little solder jumper, and that will short across the input and output of the regulator, so you can power it from 3.3 volt VCC. The pins that we're likely to use are supply, ground, clock and data. It's also possible to change the address by pulling the address line low. See it's about one and a half centimeters by two and a half centimeters. On the other side it has the same markings. Um, it does support SPI as well as I squared C. It gives us uh, acceleration, a gyroscope, and magnetometer. So you can use it as a compass, um, figure out what position it's in, and all sorts of useful numbers. There are some very handy libraries that you can get to use this with the Arduino, and um, they'll even convert into units ready for feeding into aircraft flight control type systems. So, useful little board, if it works. The build quality looks okay. Uh, I've had a look under a microscope and all the connections look good. So, I guess we'll give it a go. So, to do this test, um, I've got Arduino Mega 2560 connected up to the module. Uh, just I, I squared C connection. So I've got uh, five volt ground uh, clock and data connected on here, and that goes to power header over there, and 21 for clock. 20 for data and the code that is on the Arduino is a slightly modified example file from the Boulder Flight Systems library and all I've done to modify it I've changed it to output a comma separated stream slightly slower and with a keyword at the beginning of the line and I feed that into an application on the PC so I can draw it as graphs. I'll put the code for that and the application, uh, put the PC application on the website as well. I'll stick a link somewhere over there. So if you noticed the noise in the background, I've got another PC running in here today, which I've normally put to sleep when I'm recording, but that is generating a display which I'll stick on the screen just here and this is taking the readings from this module and it's just drawing as three graphs the top one being the accelerometer at the moment it's registering gravity going down through the bench um, the gyroscope it's picking up tiny movements some of that is noise some of it is tiny seismic things it's picking up and then at the bottom we've got the magnetometer which is currently showing pretty much the compass heading that the module is pointing in. 
So I've got it glued tight to the desk here and I just want to show how sensitive it is. Uh, this graph here is going to automatically scale depending on the size of the signals coming in. So green is the z-axis up and down through the bench and just to show how sensitive it is there it's just showing the noise this is a 20 pence piece drops from about five centimeters that picks that up no problem gently tapping on the bench it can detect that so that's the gyro demonstration basically now uh, if we unstick this and wave it around you can see it's showing the movement uh, the middle graph Um, the changes on the top graph are the changes in how it's reading gravity and if I shake it around bang it on the bench it's going a bit slow to pick up being banged on the bench but it does respond quite quickly to changes in position and one of the things I wanted this for is the magnetometry so a little demonstration of how well it responds to magnetic fields so bottom graph is showing stay still here bottom graph is showing magnetic fields there's a small magnet stuck to the wire larger magnet I stole from my son So, the module works, um, does everything I expected it to, seems fine, not had any instances of it failing to respond or misbehaving. Uh, the readings that come out of it are fairly stable, a little bit noisy, but you just average those in software. Um, it seems pretty good, certainly for what I want, uh, the gyroscope and magnetometer output. If we just blue tack it back down you'll see that once the graphs rescale they show much smaller movements and there on the gyroscope the, that's readings of um, a few thousandths 
on the output of the gyroscope. Source code and the application are stuck on the website, link below. Um, useful little modules uh, from this supplier, they seem okay. Uh, not soldered connectors on both of them yet, but that one looks fine. It was a pack of two. Can't see any reason why it wouldn't be as good as this one. So, okay, really. Okay, I've just turned the speed up a bit. You can see the graph's moving a bit faster now. So that was hitting the bench at about 4G. Hmm. Yeah. Useful. I like these quite a lot.